Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off your hot and cold water supplies. In this video we're going to show you how to change out the GE washer fabric softener dispenser. It's going to be a very easy repair and it'll only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new fabric softener dispenser. The fabric softener dispenser is located on the top of the agitator. The main reason to be changing it out is if it's clogged with residue or it's lost. In order to get to the part, we're going to open up the washer lid. Now that we have the lid open, we have access to the dispenser. You're going to be changing this out one of two ways, just pulling this out and putting the new one in, or you may have a cap here that you have to pull off and then put the new dispenser on. If the dispenser is in there tight, or if you can't get the cap off, you may have to put a small flathead screwdriver underneath it to help break it free and go around the edges until you can lift it out. Once you have it broken free, you can pull it out of the agitator. Here's the old fabric softener dispenser next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. Before you put the new fabric softener dispenser in, you want to make sure you clean this area out really good paying special attention to these four holes around the base. This is where the softener comes out when it's dispensed. If you don't clean them out really good, you're just gonna gum up the new dispenser. Once you have the area cleaned up, you can line up these ridges with the slots in the agitator and push the new fabric softener dispenser into place. Once you have it pushed down all the way, we can close the washer lid plug the machine back in, turn the water back on, and take a first spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.